Jason? Great, you're here. Okay, I really need your help. There's a guy downstairs and... When did you get that? About a year ago. Why? I mean, I, I would have bet money that you never got a tattoo. Guess you were lost. Can I see it? Yeah. Why? Why did you do it? Because I was alone. Obviously, I've been alone before. You know, I thought I liked it, but I don't know. This time was different because I knew that I couldn't come home. So I guess I just wanted something that was mine, you know, something that couldn't be taken from me or that I couldn't be forced to leave behind. Did it hurt? I mean, it doesn't really matter. It took a while. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I um, just never let myself think about home. And I would just shut it down. I wouldn't think about it. But there was nothing to do that night but sit there while this guy Joel worked on me. And I guess I broke my own rule. Jake and Danny and how tall they were getting. And if Jake still liked art and if Danny still liked football. I thought about Sam and Elizabeth and I hoped that they were happy. And I thought about Monica. I was just hoping that she was okay. She didn't grieve for me. By that time, I almost half done. So that's when I let myself think about you. I knew you'd be okay without me. Wrong. Come on, Carla, you're tough. Adaptive and resilient. Where did that come from? It's just something they say on assessments and fitness reports that if, uh, Adaptive and resilient, you got a better chance of survival. And you're the most resilient person I've ever met. I mean, nothing knocks you down for long. Yeah, I'm losing you. When I was happy, I didn't have you to share things with. When I was sad and miserable, you weren't there to fix it. It's funny that you had a rule because I had one of my own, you know, you. When I would think I can't do this because Jason's not here, I would tell myself, no, you do it for Jason. Jason wouldn't let you quit. So even though you weren't with me in a way you were, you were with me. I like it.